Yeah, um, you know, coming in the Duratina, Lexington, Jess, and, you know, getting a lot of people in the paint on penetration. So, you know, we allowed our guards to kind of do their thing and just were ready to space and ready to shoot when the ball came to us. And it felt good out there. And you're going against, obviously, Asia, one of the best defenders um, in the league, as as you are. I mean, that was sort of a marquee matchup. Um, it seemed like you were able to get hot from the outside, just sort of made it tough for them. You know, mm -hmm. Is that a part of it? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the that's the main thing, just keeping the defense honest. Mm -hmm. Um, and understanding that there's different levels that I can kind of um, attack the game from and approach the game from. And so that was my mindset tonight, just like not overthinking and just playing and having fun. Really? The third quarter push when they came out, you had, you know, for any of you, they expected that obviously, but when it came time to turn it on yourself, it seemed as if it was just kind of a click and, and easy to do, which it isn't normal against the Las Vegas Aces. Did it, did it feel that way? Like when it was time to turn things up for either you or Sap? Um, you know, I mean, I think just having a more like experienced group now in this second year, um, like, you know, I believe we didn't really, we weren't frantic when they went on their run. I think just understanding teams are going to go on runs. Um, they're de the defending champs. They understand um, basketball is a game of runs. And, and obviously we came out um, really well in that first um, and then they were able to kind of chip away and get back into it. And, I think it was just this understanding with, with all of us. It's like, we got to put an end to it. And, and that was their run, but we got to buckle down and get stops and continue to go offensively. And, you know, winning three out of the four quarters is huge because, you know, no matter what run they go on, we just continue to stay locked in on the now and not look too far ahead. You talked about this being a more experienced team now being in its second year. Does it, does it feel obviously more comfortable, JJ, you know, injured coming into last season and then, Sandy finding her role and then Sab, you know, the newcomers last year. Now it just seems like it almost seems like the chemistry has been there for years. Does it feel that way for her? Yeah, that's how it feels. You know, that's the beautiful thing about chemistry. When it, when you start to get to that level that you know you can get to, it, it really does feel seamless. Um, but yeah, we understand that, like, if you watch this play this season, we've had really good four quarters and we want to kind of bring that into our third. And so um, I think we kind of picked it up a little bit earlier today and it, it showed up. Great. We'll go over to Zoom. We'll take one question each, starting with Jackie. Hi, Sandy. Uh, congrats on the win. Part of the idea with the bench this year was to be able to plug and play and put players in that could make things a bit difficult for a team, especially like the Aces that have the guards and wings who can drive and score. I'm just curious how you thought the bench really stepped up today, and I guess how you think Ivana in particular continues to grow more comfortable. Yeah, no, look, once again, um, you know, they were key to help us give us that energy. I thought we had a, you know, a pretty um, average first half, just hadn't played for a while to get our legs back going. And, and But I thought, you know, Leo, they brought great energy. And, and Ivana too, and she hadn't had many opportunities, but we keep reminding her that she can help us and to stay ready. And uh, I thought she did an excellent job tonight. And that's what we need, Kennedy as well. And, um, you know, we talked about our depth. Uh, being one of our strengths, and it's certainly showing, even though we're, we've got two important players down. Thank you. We'll go to Ben. Yeah, Sandy, I, I guess just curious, what impressed you more, the seven of eight three-point shooting to open the game or that you were able to go on the 14-0 run without making uh, a three-pointer in that third quarter? I think both. You know, I think both. Uh, we talked about, you know, they give up the most threes in this league. So we talked about that in our preparation, knowing how we can exploit them a little bit here and still have to make them. So seven from eight. Um, we haven't, you know, that's a great percentage for us. You know, I think our, we're getting better and better at making threes now um, and getting really wide open ones and, and JJ just expanding it out. It's fantastic for us. But I think the 14 hour run, that was pretty special too, because it got a little bit tight and we we're, you know, it's the experience. We talked about the chemistry, how it's just, it, it's showing now that we know how to execute and we can go to another level at both ends of the floor when we need it. Fifi? Hey, Sandy. Uh, Monster gave him JJ again. Third, third straight with at least 20 points and eight rebounds. Just curious of what do you think has changed in her game? And then with these performances, do you think she's kind of getting close to that MVP form that she was in Connecticut? Yeah, I mean, JJ looks great. I think she came in playing over in China. She had a great season over there, coming in healthy. Um, talked about the chemistry the second year. She doesn't have to learn her teammates or the system. Um, and she feels comfortable. And, you know, start of the year, we're still, like, 
when you're getting new people back to, back together, it's like we still weren't getting her enough touches. But I think it's not that we've changed anything. We just make sure that she's inside, she's outside, and JJ's doing the rest. I mean, it's she's uh, she's a great three point shooter, but she's just as effective inside in the paint. But to the defensively, even though we, um, you know, Asia had uh, twenty one, but uh, you know, you, you still thought we did a really good job on her, and, and JJ was on her a fair bit. So she's really impacting in so many areas for us, and you know, it's great. That's what we need. I mean. Um, you know, she's a, she's so coachable and a pleasure to coach. It's great when she, you know, great things are happen, happening. Thank you. We'll go to Jeff. Thank you, John Quo. My question is for you. First of all, congrats on the win and congrats on your career high today in scoring. Uh, when you went back and looked at the film from October, you said that the team was quote, all trying to do it separately, but in a game like this, how did the improved chemistry and unity best present itself on the floor today? Yeah, I think it was a trust. You know, I think we trusted each other to, to make the right plays, um, to do what they're really good at. Um, and we all did that tonight. Um, Sabrina getting downhill, finding people, club assists. Um, you know, just everybody just doing what they're good at and understanding that it's not, it's not an individual thing. Like, we're all there for each other, especially defensively. I think we were scrambling really well late, making them, like, take really tough shots and – um, and it shows you. Appreciate your time and insights. Say travels. Thank you. Brian. Hi, everybody. Um, this one's for Sabrina. In the first half, you guys had seven turnovers as a team, but in the second half, just one. How do you think you guys were able to sort of figure out Vegas's defense as the game progressed? Yeah, I mean, and sadly, that was my one um, when I stepped out of bounds. Um, but I think it was just, yeah, we went into halftime understanding um, how they were getting a lot of their transition baskets. And I believe they had six points um, at half off of our turnovers. And so it, it was just understanding like we got to take care of the ball and not allow them to get that opportunity because obviously they're a great transition team. And the more we can limit that, um, the better for us. And so being able to have that understanding and actually go out and execute it is huge. I mean, the more we can take care of the ball, um, the better shots we get at the rim and I think part of that was we were a little sped up in terms of not having played for a week and everyone wanted to just get back, you know, in the swing of things. And we were able to kind of settle in in that second half and really take care of that. All right. Thank you guys. Safe travels. We'll go to Lucas and finish with Russell. Thank you. Uh, my question is for Sabrina. This kind of felt like an ultimate test of what we've been talking about in terms of your, you know, ability as a ball handler. Now you're dealing with Asia Wilson on hedges and switches and, dribbling to the other side of the floor, keeping it alive, moving the ball around. So I just wanted to ask um, your mindset coming into the game, knowing you would be going up against her, were you, you know, what was your kind of mindset and how do you feel you executed out there? I mean, I, I feel like, um, you know, I kind of just took what the defense gave me. I wasn't sure if they were going to trap. I wasn't sure if um, they were going to come out and hard head. And so I think it was just staying patient. But every time I was able to get down in the paint, I was able to create for someone else or get, get a good look at the rim. And so I think continuing to just come off those screens really aggressively and now being able to, you know, get to the rim a lot more this year, I think that's just added a new dimension to, to my game in terms of, um, you know, how they're playing me defensively. And so it was really nice to be able to see how many, um, you know, players I was able to get open just by attacking downhill and attacking the hitch. Thank you. Russell? All right. Hi, everyone. My question is for John Quell. Um, JJ, on the broadcast, Rebecca Lobo mentioned that she thinks you found the right balance this year uh, between when to shoot, when to pass, and when to work inside. I'm just wondering if you agree with that assessment and if so, kind of what work you put in to, to try to find that balance. Um, I mean, yeah, I think it, it feels good. And um, like I said, I'm just I'm just playing the game. If I'm open, I'm shooting. Um, if someone rotates to me, I'm passing the ball, but um, I'm really not overthinking it. But I think it shows when you're playing the right way, and, and it, def it definitely does feel good.